welcome back to my channel guys today we're gonna be bleaching roots so um, I use quick blue by L'Oreal and uh, I just use two packets um, use as many packets as you need for your hair but I just have a little bit of hair so I don't need that much so here I am just opening two packets and I'm empty emptying out all the contents this is the bleach and then for the developer I'm using a 30 developer 40 you definitely don't need it 20 eh, we could use the 30 so you're just gonna mix this in really really well I don't have perfect measurements I just know what consistency I like not too thick and not runny so you're just gonna keep mixing it until you reach the desired consistency you just want to make sure that it's all blended in very well so you're just gonna keep on mixing and keep on mixing to your heart's content and I'm just gonna, you'll see that I keep adding a little bit and a little bit more, just as long as, as it is not runny. Okay guys, so I'm just going to put on this cape just so that I don't get any bleach on me. Um, now, you should use gloves. Do as I say, not as I do. I'm so used to this already that I, I just don't use gloves. I'm just showing you this scrunchie that I'm gonna be putting up half of my hair. Half I do with a mirror behind my head and half I just do straight onto the mirror. So you're gonna see I am now applying it to my roots only. You're not putting this over the hair that is already bleached. You're gonna try your hardest to keep it on the areas that are that you wanna bleach, which is only the dark hair. So I'm showing you now, I'm going around the perimeter of that, uh, of that piece I have sectioned off in a pony um, because this is the most important part. I don't want any of that hair where I part my hair to have um, any dark spots. So I like to go in the back first. I find it takes a little bit longer to process than in the front. So I am just applying this only to the roots. If you apply this over to the white hair, um, it, you're going to have a lot of breakage or you're going to have a lot of spaghetti uh, rubber band uh, pieces. Um, it can be a little bit difficult. Um, if you have someone to help you, that'd be great, but I've, I'm just so used to doing it on my own already. So um, I'm, I went back up. So I first started going down, but I went back up to make sure that I um, hit every spot. Um, so now I'm starting in the front and I'm just applying this to the roots. I don't like to do my sides first even though I find that the sides take longer to process because as I overlap my hair that hair will get stuck to the bleach on the sides of my head and that's not good so I went sideways first and now I am going backwards you definitely just want to make sure that you're hitting every single spot you don't want to have white hair and one little piece um, black because it will be very noticeable um, I finished going through all my hair and this part is just all about the application but afterwards you're going to cover your head with a cap just to make sure that the bleach doesn't fall out and the your head keeps its warmth and depending on how long it takes you to apply the bleach um, you should subtract that from how long you want it so if the bleach just stay on your head for an hour um, it took me 20 minutes so I put my timer for 40 so this has been already 30 minutes and you can see that my roots are really lifted but I usually have to go in for two applications but what I've done now is I'll go in at half the time and go through all the sections again and reapply a little bit more bleach. So this is just me making sure that I've, um, I haven't missed any spots and I'm going to just make sure that um, you know I've reapplied it evenly. Okay so this is me checking, it's been 40 minutes. And my hair has lifted to a nice pale yellow. This is how light you want it to be to achieve the silver gray. So this is my sides, and then this is the very front. 
it's a nice pale yellow so before I wash my hair out with just shampoo I like to make my toner I use Wella T14 and Wella 050 I mix this with a 20 developer now you're supposed to use for every one toner you use it's two of developer so I'm gonna show you um, this first of all this is why you wear gloves because my fingers are burned so please do as I say not as I do this little container you're gonna see a line this is how I measure how much toner I'm gonna use so with my t14 I'm going to pour up to that line four times then with my 050 I'm gonna pour up to that line two times all right you following me you following me <laughs> so we're using six measurements of toner so four from the t14 and two from the 050 as you get more um, accustomed to doing this you'll learn your own formulas and ratios to what color better comes out with your hair um, now as you're doing one part like one measurement you need two measurements of your developer so because I made six measurements of my toner I'm gonna need 12 of my developer but you're only gonna see me pour six times because I'm doubling up in that cup so did, did you did you follow did you catch that <laughs> if you have any question guys please leave them down below just watch the video guys it's it's really not that bad <laughs> who said you weren't gonna need math when you grew up <laughs> After this, you're gonna mix it really, really, really well. And then you're going to wash your hair with purple shampoo. I use Shimmer Lights purple shampoo and no conditioner. Do not use conditioner or the toner will not work. The toner will turn purple once you apply it to your head. The more purple, the better. This is my hair after I've taken out the bleach. As you can see, it's very yellow, but that's okay because that's what the toner is gonna take care of. It's gonna hit all that yellow and knock it all out of the park, okay? So you're gonna apply this. You don't have to apply it as perfectly as you did the bleach. Um, you're just gonna wanna make sure that you're saturating your hair with the toner. So you're gonna go through all your hair, front and back, and um, if the, again, if the toner is turning like extremely purple, your hair is not going to be purple whatsoever. You're going to then cover it with a cap when you're all done. And you're going to leave that on for up to 30 minutes. You're going to make sure every single part of your hair is saturated okay guys so this is the final result my hair is not yellow anymore it is nice silver and gray thank you guys so much for watching please give a thumbs up subscribe and if you have any questions please leave them down in the um, bottom section thanks you